What up, peeps? Welcome back to, I guess you could call this part two of my first impressions on Star Wars for the first time. Uh, last week, we watched the first one, episode four, <laughs> New Hope, and uh, I guess this was yesterday, we just watched The Empire Strikes Back. And I'm sure you guys can tell these videos have been completely unscripted off the top of my head. I'm trying to make them a little bit more professional by doing some editing after the fact and putting in some clips and everything. That's why I'm kind of offset here, so I have room to do that this time. I should have planned ahead with the last one, but I wanted to continue on and make this video talking about The Empire Strikes Back because I enjoyed it more than the first one, and by quite a bit, actually. And one thing that I wanted to make sure that I didn't forget to mention is that for someone like me who is watching these films for the first time, having heard so many things about them, um, you know, just over the years. So I know, I know certain things that are going to happen. Um, there's no, there's no surprises for me when it comes to, to watching these movies, but there are things that, you know, especially with watching the first one, there are things that I knew about that were not in that movie. And I was like, okay, well they must be in the later ones. And there are still things that I know about that I have not seen yet, which is very cool and it's very exciting for me because there there are so many like iconic things that happen in Star Wars and you know they're 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 well known enough for me to know about them having never seen the movies, but there are still things I don't know that I'm seeing, which are very, very cool and I'm enjoying that aspect of it, but it's really cool to me just to think that all these like all these like stereotypical Star Wars things that everyone knows about they're very popular they're you know the most well-known scenes or whatever it is I don't know which movies they are from so until it happens I don't know to expect it basically and so it makes me excited to watch more of the films because I know that there's these things that are going to happen that I'm going to like seeing and I have not seen them yet so that's telling me that at least the third one is going to be good as well. And I know that a lot of people, I've heard from a lot of people that the second and third one are their favorites, they're better than the first one. And so far, having only seen the second and for the first and second one so far, I can say that in my opinion the second one is better. Um and I I wouldn't say that it's for any particular reason. Um I just think it was definitely more funny, I can say that. Um you know, I'm sure that I can't really give any spoilers here, but Yoda was not in the first movie, which I didn't know going into it. You know, Yoda is probably the most popular character from all of Star Wars, except for maybe Darth Vader. And I was surprised to not see him in the first movie, but he is in the second one and he is freaking hilarious. It is crazy how funny it is. I did not expect to be laughing at Star Wars, aside from sitting there with Ryan and making our little jokes as the movie's going, laughing at that stuff, but I did not expect the actual movie to make me laugh, which it did plenty of times. It's just, mainly just Yoda. He was so funny. The little the little noises that he makes and the faces and everything, it was great. And I know that some of that is probably just the limitations of, of the puppetry and stuff like that, but, man, it was really, really funny. Hi -ho. Slimy, my home this is! Aren't you letting me have it? R2! In addition to that, I... I enjoyed that there was less CG. Um, we're watching these on, on a Blu-ray, on Blu-ray, on the PS4 system, on a 4K TV. Um, and a lot of people are saying that we should watch the originals and, you know, I would love to at some point, but for the for the purposes of our game nights where we are watching these, we're watching them on the PS4, and Ryan owns the Blu-rays, so uh, we are watching the remastered versions. There's not really much we can do about that at this point. I'll go back at some point and watch the originals for sure. Uh, but So CG is, is definitely going to be in them, but what I liked about the second one is that there wasn't very much, at least that was that noticeable. Um... The, I think the little creatures that they ride on in the snow are called Tauntauns, and there was some CG with, with those, and I didn't 
didn't like that that much. It just looked a little bit weird. There was also what appeared to be like some stop motion, like animation stuff, which while very, very cool, it looked very like glitchy kind of looking, um, you know, which is fine. Obviously you can only do so much with stop motion, but I did enjoy that there was less CG than in the first one. But the, one of the things, <clears throat> excuse me, one of the things that I enjoyed the most about this second movie were the locations. In the first one, you have a lot of, like, desert and, like, the inside of spaceships. The cantina was amazing. That was my favorite part. But other than that, the locations were not amazing. But in the second one, I really, really liked the locations. You have Yoda living in, like, a swamp type area with, like, caves and and lots of trees and vines and and like water and bogs and stuff like that that was awesome and also you have like the snow area which I guess is Hoth and they have built like some like under the ground under snow like uh, fortress type thing where they've they've got like these little ice cavities that are they're like rigged with lights and they have like hoses and pipes and stuff running along the walls. It it looks very unrealistic because I pointed out when we were watching it, I was like, how how do they have a light fixed to the ceiling when it's just snow? But either way, it was really, really awesome. I liked it. And uh, the all the different... Like, there was a lot of creatures in the first one, and a lot of them were CG, but... In the second one, it seems like you were exposed to more, like, ships and stuff like that, and more machines, and they had, like, the giant, I don't know what they're called, but the giant, like, people say they look like camels or whatever they are, um, but those things are really, really cool. I enjoyed the camera work where they're, like, flying through the legs and stuff like that. That was really, really cool, and, uh... Yeah, just overall, I definitely enjoyed the second one more than the first one, and it makes me more excited to continue watching, because after watching the first one, I did want to continue on, and I was excited about watching the other ones, but at the same time, I wasn't like, this is incredible, we need to watch it right now kind of thing. It was just like, oh, that was a good movie, we'll watch the other one sometime. And But after watching the second one, we definitely need to have Ryan and Jess come back next weekend, bring the third one, and watch that. I really hope that they're, that they're down for doing that because I definitely want to continue on. And at this point, since we've watched the first two with them, I feel like it's only fair to continue watching it with them. We could always watch it just Abby and myself, but I feel like it's not that it's like a tradition or anything. We've only, you know, but um, since we started it with them, I think that we should continue to watch it with them. And Jess and Ryan are both very big Star Wars fans, so they have been able to answer questions and stuff like that that we have, and uh, Ryan has said that he's very, very nervous about showing us Episode 1 because he said it's so bad that it might turn us off from continuing to watch. I don't think that's going to happen. We're not huge Star Wars fans, so we're probably not going to feel the disappointment of Episode 1 like most people did. Obviously, I haven't seen it, so I can't say yet, but... Um, I think it'll be fine. I'm excited to watch either way. So, guys, those are my thoughts and my opinions on Empire Strikes Back. And I guess next time we're going to be watching Return of the Jedi. And I'll make another video, let you guys know what I think about that one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.